Hello everyone, now, this is one live case study for the Seagate 4000 DM004. So I have, have just back up the ROM and from Snog window, we can see the ROM read OK. Now the next step for this family is to generate this unlock ROM. So to generate this unlock ROM, the first thing we need to select this original ROM. And here we need to select the parts to save the unlock ROM. Now we click save and click OK. We can see operation success. This means that the unlock ROM has been saved successfully. Next, we need to write this unlock ROM. So we click write ROM, and here we can see in the directory, we can select unlock ROM. So this is the ROM folder. We can see here is unlock ROM. Now we select this one and without 4 key and we select a higher baud rate click OK then the program will start to write this unlock ROM to this pension drive because this pension drive has some firmware corruption and the data error is not accessible so uh, in order to repair the firmware corruption we must repair the firmware so for this drive because the firmware error is knocked so we must unlock the firmware to access the firmware error to repair the firmware modules Now we are reading the ROM. Okay, now the unlock ROM has been written successfully. So we can power off and power on the drive. And we can see in the COM terminal. So this means that the hard drive has reported the unlock handshake value so we just need to click send this unlock key now we can enter the F3T prompt and control L we can see we can check the hard drive family ID information Before we write this unlock ROM, we can see if we use Ctrl L and we can find in COM terminal that this is a dire glow stick port locked. But after we write the unlock ROM, power off and on, and we can see Ctrl L, the same command, and we can see the hard drive family information, the V11, and this is a family name. Now since we have access to the firmware error, we can now back up the firmware modules. Now we can read this as well as files. 1B, 28, 35. 
and we can also select the night three click OK now the program has started to read the important formal modules Okay, now all the selected important firmware modules have been backup. Now the next step, we can try to check the ng list. Now we can see there are 11 entries returned within the ng list and also the v4 entries there are many entries in the v4 list now we can try to clear it and v4 again we need to remember the entries number in the engine list now next we need to try to regenerate The transmitter. So we just need to wait a little bit until the transmitter regeneration completes. We must wait until transmitter regeneration completes. Do not operate on other menus during the operation of the transmitter regeneration.
Now we can check from the top clone and this family. We can see it's 9B. Now we can see in the COM terminal, the drive has go back to F3 T prompt again. And now we need to check the V4 entries again. And we can find out that the entries number remains the same. It's also 11 entries. Now we control T and to enter the ATM mode. And then we can try to access to the data arrow and see if it is accessible. See, the data array is now accessible and we can check the ending part of the drive. For example, 7.5 and clear the scan record, click OK and we can click OK. Now we can see that this has been 96% of the hard drive and its data error is accessible. So this means this drive firmware issue has been perfectly fixed. Now we can go to the DFL DDP data recovery program. SATA 0 here and click DDP. Now that means we can open the firmware repair program and the DDP program at the same time. We can set up a new project, next, file extraction, finish. Now here we can see all the lost data are here. So users can simply recover the lost data now. See, all the lost data here, users can simply right click and save the lost data. Thank you for 